Hey Boo, today I'm bringing you this lime green beginner friendly full face tutorial. Now if you like it, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And let's get into it. Now starting off with brows, I'm just going to use this precisely my brow brow pencil by Benefit. It's in the color number four. I have everything listed down below. Now I'm going to brush my brows into place, letting me make sure all the hairs go where I want them to. I'm going to outline the bottom of my brow. So I'm going to outline the shape of my brow at the bottom first, and then I start off by filling out the tail. Now I'm using a harder pressure on the tail because I want the, I want my tail to be darker than the front of my brow. So at the tail end, I'm like kind of pushing kind of hard. You can see it kind of tugging on my skin, but I do release the pressure as I move forward. So now that we're at the front of the brow, I'm going to use the spoolie part to give it that nice little fade because we all know a brow is not a brow without that fade. Also, I'm going to use the spoolie part to brush the product through because sometimes you just want to move the product to get it to where you want it to. Now using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn, I'm just going to clean up these brows and get them nice and sharp. Now I like to put just a little more concealer, like just shy of my crease, and then I'm going to blend all of this out with this Real Techniques Buffer Brush. I believe it's a crease brush. I'll have it linked down below. Now to prep the lid for eyeshadow, I'm using Makeup Revolution's concealer in, I believe this is like C12 or C11. And I'm just going to blend that out with another Real Technique product. This is the Real Technique Miracle Sponge. It's my favorite. Now, without setting that concealer, I'm jumping right in with eyeshadow. I'm using the color Fickle from Dare to Create palette by Morphe, and I'm using a Smith Cosmetics 232 brush just to stamp it into the crease. Like, I want to place the color on or where I want it to be, and then I go in and blend it out. And now for the star of the show, it's the color Avocado by Star Crush Minerals. I absolutely love Star Crush Minerals. I believe this was only like $5 and they always had like 40% off. Anyway, using a MAC 239 brush, I'm just going to pack this all over my lid, just patting motions, just pat, 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 get more, pat, pat, pat. You just have to remember this is a loose eyeshadow. This is why I'm doing my eyes before I do my face, but I usually do my eyes before my face anyway. And then once I get the color where I want it to be, again, you just blend it out. Believe it or not, we're almost done with the eyes. Now, apparently I suck at filming myself putting on a wing eyeliner, but I actually start off with the lid area space first, then I do the flick or the tail, and then I connect the tail to the lid area and fill it in. And that's how I do my wing eyeliner. I'll try to get a detailed tutorial in if I ever learn how to not put my hand in the place of the camera. Okay boo, it's time for complexion. Using my Born This Way foundation in the color Chestnut and this Wet n Wild foundation brush, I think this was like a buck, maybe a buck 29. I love this brush because it helps me apply the foundation everywhere I want to with an even coat and it helps me sculpt the top of my brows as you see what I'm doing right here. And now using the same Real Technique sponge, blending her out. Now for highlight concealer, I'm using the ColourPop concealer in the color 46. First, this is more so like my skin complexion, and then I'm going to use the color 45 just to lighten that up. Then I'm going to blend that out with a Real Technique sponge. Chase, 
Now to set my under eyes, I'm using Kalux Cosmetic Setting Powder. I don't like to bake my under eye personally because it makes my under eyes dry. I just like to use just enough powder to get the area to set and disappear. And if it, as you can see, it like melts right into your skin. Set the rest of my face. I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color number 56. And this is a Sonia Kashuk powder brush. I love this brush for setting. As you can see, I just pat the product into place and then I blend it out. Now let's finish out these under eyes. I'm going back with the color Fickle and this Eddie Funkhauser brush. And then I'm going to go right over that with the Lime Green color by Star Crush Minerals. Now using a Cosette S185 brush, this is my favorite brush for my inner tear duct, I'm going to apply Trophy Wife by Rihanna, or Fenty Beauty, sorry, right into that inner tear duct. Now using ColourPop's No Filter Sheer Press Powder in the color Deep Dark and my NARS Eater brush, I am going to start lightly contouring my face and cutting this cheek. Woo, yeah, I love this part. I'm also going to contour around this five head of mine and I'm going to do my nose. I don't really go heavy into contouring, but just enough to give me a shadow. I also bring the contour up high and almost into my eye socket just so it could carry down and look natural. I go over everything with my Sonia Kashuk brush just so it could all blend and meld. For blush, I'm using the color Yara by Juvia's Place with a Wayne Goss brush. And for highlight, I'm using another Wayne Goss brush it's, I believe it's 002. Again, everything will be linked down below in order which to use with Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wife. Look how pretty. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to just do the brow bone with that same Cosette brush. Can you tell I'm feeling myself? I also did apply it to down the bridge of my nose and to the tail of my nose. I forgot to film that. And I'm going to just go over everything with the same Tanya Cash's brush. Now for the Frankenstein I call my mascara. I have a better than sex wand in a voluminous colored black tube. Yes, I love the tube, or, or I like the formula of the Voluminous Carbon Black, and I like the wand of the Better Than Sex Mascara, so why not put two and two together and save some coins? Now for lips, I'm using the color Honey by Anastasia Beverly Hills as a base, and right over that I'm going to be using Too Faced Melted Lip Gloss in the color Chocolate Honey. Now that the lash moves dry, let's pop on these lashes. This is from Lash XO. The style is called Lucky Lola. They're basically the House of Lashes iconic lashes, but just a cheaper version that I got on Amazon. Okay, boo, that wraps up the tutorial. I hope you liked it, and if you did, can you just give me a thumbs up? Okay, babes, I'll call you next time. Bye.